Hey there, Leo. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for you guys for your guys' highest good. Going to be for my sign of Leo, for my beautiful sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Leo. Tell about Leo, please. Abandonment. Communication. One more for Leo. It's trust. Limbo. So you got somebody here that's trying to figure out the right way to communicate with you. Somebody's stuck in limbo. You've done a lot of shadow work here and it's making it like impossible to try to come back your way here. Somebody knows you don't trust them. This is someone that suffers from abandonment issues. There's something about this person feeling abandoned, but I feel like this person abandoned you at one time. So you guys may have had some abandonment issues here. What's well, overall energy here for Leo? Surrender. That wanted to be in reverse. Somebody doesn't like that you've let go of something. Somebody doesn't want you to fully let go of it. Somebody doesn't like that you're able just to cut ties and not look back again. Somebody thought that they... This person felt that they had such a so much of an impact in your life, like they, they for sure thought that you was going to be like waiting around for them to come back, and you clearly are not. Yeah, patience. Something about this person running out of patience. You accepting that everything happens in divine order. You you pull back your energy and you put all that time and investment back into yourself. Now somebody's running out of patience when it comes to you, but you've run out of patience dealing with this person. That's why you're moving away from it. Leo, Leo, to struggle, this is to climb, so this person clearly put a lot of challenges in your path, I feel like a lot of you guys have dealt with some just challenges, you know how to overcome these, like this is somebody that doesn't like that no matter what they tried to throw your way, say behind your back, do behind your back, like you keep excelling, you keep evolving and growing and this person can't stop, like you, it's like you've taken your struggles and you turned that into enlightenment, like you're, you've are you been transmuting this energy here, somebody doesn't like that you're not struggling, someone would prefer you to be struggling and not doing well, you surrender to your greatness, like someone doesn't want you to like continues stepping into the who you're meant to be here someone doesn't like that you're that you're meant for good things like your life is meant to take off and you're meant to experience better things than what this person was providing for you time to meditate some of you guys could be meditating or that's what you're needing to start to do here just really grounding yourself just really um tapped into a higher level of consciousness and just and just really Trusting the downloads and the the messages that you you are receiving here at this time Really grounding yourself from this energy trying to come back here for you positive optimistic beautiful So this is about you keeping in that positivity still having an optimistic look on life and still remaining that beautiful kind Compassionate loving person that you are some of you guys could be getting flowers today gifted roses here this person doesn't like that you have this positive outlook on life. Like this person tried to leave a bad taste in your mouth and it just didn't work out like they thought that it was going to. Let go of your inner thoughts. So getting out of that um, that energy of someone trying to put doubt and fear in your mind. Letting that all go. Just letting go of that, that noise inside your mind. And just if you do have um, negative thoughts that want to appear... Just redirect back on to positive things, guys. Somebody doesn't like that you're able just to let go of the thought of them. Like, they, they're panicking. Like, this person for sure thought that they, like, had this presence in your life. And you're clearly showing them otherwise. Leo. Leo. Visualization. I am the creator of my reality. I use my imagination to visualize what I want in my life. So then it can be realized. So you guys could have a vision board or you have or you need to make a vision board. But there's something about the way that you're able to um, 
how you're able to visualize what you want and then bring that into um, fruition for yourself here. So you are the creator of your reality here. And there's that reconciliation. And I got pink. Today's Valentine's Day. So I forgive others knowing that they did their best they could. They could do under the circumstances. So the forgiveness is for you. So you can move forward. This person's trying to figure out how to reconcile. They don't know how to approach you. Like this is someone that is like the way that you've been healing and growing and evolving. Like this person, like they're, they just don't know how to come at you like this is like trying to like it's like they don't know who you are they don't know who this version of you is and they're trying to like figure out how to how do i how do i approach this person leo leo trust in my gifts so this is about you trusting your intuition like i was saying a second ago trusting in your gifts the downloads that you receive the information that you're getting here trusting in yourself here let your inner fire warm you, but not burn you. So this is about still letting that beautiful light of yours shine, but not overextending yourself for other people anymore. This person was used to you um, overgiving and overgiving yourself. And you're just, you, that's part of like the old version of you that you've laid to rest. Like this is why this person is trying to figure out the right way to, to come towards you. Because you're not letting this inner fire burn you anymore. Manifesting is your superpower. That's another thing that this person's been seeing. Like, they're watching you manifest. Like, they're seeing you create some things in your life. Tell about abandonment. So this person, they have abandonment issues. That's why they take off and they try to leave you before they get left. This is someone that tries to be 10 steps ahead, but I feel like you were ahead of this person. Like, you know how to outsmart this one. Tell about abandonment. This person doesn't like... It's okay when they leave you behind, but now that you're leaving them behind, like they, their ego is taking a massive hit. Tell about abandonment. Magician. This is someone that will... This person doesn't like the way that you're able to take all the, the, the pain and the, like, I'm picking up on someone that's been abandoned by more than one person in their life. Like, you know how to, like, really transmute all that energy and like create the life that you want using your pain your your you know turning your pain into your 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 power and turning that power into your profit like this past person wants to create a whole illusion like they're going to come up with some kind of story here of why this even happened like i already feel like they've already they tried to say some things about you to other people here. Like, because this person likes to play the victim. Tell me more about abandonment. So this person thought they had you stuck. This person for sure thought they were going to pull away from you. And that you'd be sitting there waiting for them to return. This person, um, they don't like that you're able to... Like, you're... The way that you're able to ground yourself and just move forward and not let the the triggers get to you like this person for sure thought they were going to just keep you stuck with the this uh, these abandonments they're trying to they this person really felt like their presence was going to make or break you this person could have left there was a, there could have been a marriage involved this is someone that could have went right into another connection after you two had a falling out people that that go into relationships right after you break up. You better believe that those two were talking behind your back before you guys had your falling out. But this person could try to show up to your house. This person misses how you were the stable. Like there's something about the security and the stability that you provided in the connection. And there was a marriage here for somebody. Five of Wands. That's drama, chaos, leaving you out in the cold for someone else. Someone thought that you were going to still try to fight for this. There's something about this person trying to make it out to seem like you were the one that did them dirty. And this person's pissed off that you have taken your power back. This person doesn't like that they lost control over you. Like this is a very like this is someone that gets angry when they don't get their way here. Like this this person this person expected for you to sit here and take all their breadcrumbs. 
it's okay when they're giving to other people and like it's okay for them to give the bare minimum but let let you do that to them then they're going to sit there and go all off the deep end and try to and tell you and everybody that will listen how bad of a person you are so this is somebody here that doesn't like that you're like i said you're not going to take the breadcrumbs you're over it and now this person's trying to figure out how to reconcile. But this is someone that tried to celebrate your downfall a little too soon. They're looking back and your life is getting better. So this is somebody that doesn't like seeing you celebrate yourself. Doesn't like to see you having this victory. In their eyes, you've got the victory in this situation. And this person ran right towards someone else and, and told that person how bad you treat them. I feel like this person does it with everybody. They'll, they'll leave the person they're with now and they'll go run, try to run back to you and tell you how that person treated them like crap. Like this person, they like to play the victim. Tell about communication for Leo. So this person doesn't like that they've got to reach out. There's something about just blocked communication. Tell about that communication. Five of Wands, man. See, this is somebody that's pissed off. You, I feel like a lot of you guys have just blocked this person off. Just like you're done entertaining the drama and the chaos and the conflict that comes along with this person. Like you're over it. This person thought you was going to have some fight left in you still. And you clearly don't. Now this person's pissed off that they've got to reach out. It's all about control and power with this person. They don't like that you have these firm boundaries and that you have pushed back on them and let them know like I'm not going for this anymore. Like they're mad. They want you to to accept the bare minimum. They want you to, to take these breadcrumbs. No. This is a very one-sided connection. These are all coming back out again. Like, this is somebody that is hearing about how well you're doing. Like, there's something here about you celebrating yourself. Just victory is yours. And this is someone trying to figure out how to reconcile with you. This is a very selfish person that you dealt with. This is someone that sees you having wish fulfillments in your life. Like this person knows that you pour into yourself. Like people don't make or break you. And that's why this person's trying to figure out the right way to approach you. This is someone that is always entertaining third party energy. Some of you guys could have somebody new in the picture now. But this is someone that they prefer you being heartbroken because it's easier for them to, to communicate and try to get back in your good graces here. You're moving your life on. And that's what this person's realizing. Like they they know that your life is moving on. Like you're moving on. It just everything's moving on. And this person's panicking. So this person knows you've ended something for good. That's why they're trying to figure out the right words to say. Like this is someone that betrayed you. And you're not giving them the chance to do that anymore. And this person sees that you're able to pull away and detach from them now. And it's got them a little panicked. This is someone that knows that you're leaving this out in the cold. I feel like this person was doing this to you. It was okay when they were leaving you out in the cold. But now that you are them, they're panicking. They're trying to figure out how to offer this, this cup of love back to you. But they just don't know the, the words to say to you. Because it's like you're unapproachable. But it's because you've got these standards for yourself. And you're, you're creating boundaries. I'll tell you about mistrust. So this person knows that you don't trust them. There's no trust here. Tell you about that. The moon. Because there's lies and secrets here. This person's still up to no good. There's something about this person, something about your intuition that spooks this person out as well. Like they know that you can see things. Like you just know things. This is someone trying to, still trying to figure out how to, to feed you a bunch of bull crap. Tell me more about mistrust. Seven of Cups. Ooh, this person gets mad. Oh, Seven of Cups. Illusions, confusions, being treated as an option. That's why you don't trust this person. I still feel like they're doing the same thing. This person doesn't like how quiet you are. Your silence is very strong. It's very powerful. This person didn't expect for you to hold back away from them like you have been. Now they're, they're, they're panicking, like... See, this person knows that you shine lights on things. Like, you know how to pull away and isolate. And you just really have done a lot of internal work. And this person's like, man, how do I, how can I even approach you? This person thought they were going to gain control over you by giving you the silent treatment. But you started doing all that inner work. And now look at you. Now you've had this glow up. You've evolved. You've grown. You like, you know your worth. You're not chasing after anything. You are attracting it towards you. 
this person would have preferred you not knowing your worth. Like you're making it hard for this person to approach. There's something definitely about your intuition that makes this person nervous. Like this person doesn't like that you're able to pull back into yourself. This person's trying to figure out how to come toward you in a loving manner, but you just can't trust it, man. Talk about limbo. Talk about limbo. Five Pentacles. You're leaving it out in the cold. Like, this blew up in this person's face by what they did to you. Like, what did they expect? You left. They left you out in the cold and you, you got better. And now they want to try to come back from, out, from being out in the cold. And some of you guys, it's your turn to put, to put this one out in the cold. And now they stuck. They can't handle it. Tell me more about Limbo. This person's trying to hold on to you. You're holding back. They held back from you and it blew up in their face. Some of you guys are going into new connections. That's going to make them feel stuck in limbo. But there's something about the way that you just ground yourself. The way that you, you're not budging. This person didn't realize how strong you were. Some of them are, this person very well could still be in a commitment with someone else here. And they're in limbo. Trying to figure out how to have a passionate new beginning here with you. Trying to use that, that lust and that sexual energy to try to get you back. See, I feel like in the past this person was able to use this energy to try to lure you back in. But you ain't falling for this crap anymore. Like, you're over it. You want better. So, now they want to try to figure out how to apologize. Give you some kind of an emotional gesture here. Because this person knows you're moving forward with your life and they're feeling stuck. You've been balancing out feminine, masculine side, your dark, your shadows, your dark, your, that's both the same. Your shadow and your light side. And this person can't stop you from moving forward. Some of you guys are creating generational wealth with someone new and some of you guys are doing this by yourself. And then this person's still connected to someone else for, for someone here. But this is, this, this. Financial freedom that you've been manifesting for yourself is making this person feel stuck. And there's a marriage here for someone. You could have been married to this person. There's a marriage on the outside of this connection. A lot of you guys are my spiritual teachers. You're teaching this person a thing or two. Some of you guys are going to be going into unions with new relationships if that's what you're wanting for yourself here. This person's just going to have to be let down. I mean, what did they expect to happen here? I mean, this is... You having standards for yourself because you're not going to let this person hurt you anymore. So this person's trying to come towards you like they have grown and evolved and matured like you have. But I don't think you're going to go for it. You can't trust this person. Like your shadow work is making it hard to approach. Check about that. Shadow work. Ten of swords. When someone wants to hurt you, leaving it. Letting letting these... these um, Letting these endings be done, be it. Like learning everything that you needed to from this and no longer repeating it. That's what your shadow work is clearly doing. Like this is about standing up for yourself and not letting anybody hurt you. Not repeating the same cycle. And then this is about you learning how to detach. Learning how to detach and pull away and not give, not, not chasing after situations. Not reacting. Learning how to respond versus react. Like, this is all about you taking all this time to really sit and heal and just do this inner work for yourself here. Really working on your heart chakra. And this is about you, like, dedicating over to yourself again. Like, just cup runneth over for you. Like, just not letting anyone guilt trip you. Um, knowing that this cup that you that you have to present to someone is... It's one of a kind. It's 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 a cherished cup. Not anybody's going to get this cup. And this is someone that wants to try to come in here and make it seem like they have been doing work like they have. Nah. This is about you doing the shadow work so you do have these new offers coming in and knowing to trust in your gifts and know which ones are going to be for you and which ones you're going to pass up because you're not going to repeat another lesson that you clearly have learned already. No longer putting in work with, with people that don't want to give it back to you. This is about you building up your own self. Working on yourself so you can go into new contracts with new people here. And this is about closing these cycles out and leaving them closed. 
no longer repeating because you've been growing, you've been evolving, you've been learning from this. So closing out the cycles to open them back in. A lot of you guys were meant to be doing, um, learning how to alchemize your energy, transmuting that energy here. And then this is about you having that inner strength to go, um, to go in and do all that work, like taking accountability, doing that dark night of the soul, holding back from situations that aren't for your highest good and just staying silent. Not everything needs to, a respond just staying silent and letting your silence be loud and it clearly is this person didn't expect for you to be so strong like you were you're definitely showing them i've got virgo gemini i've got earth fire aries earth water water air cancer pisces water earth 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 fire air and air here like this there's there's no emotions with this person when they try to come back here. It's just all about trying to be selfish and trying to get what they want. Like there's no genuine feelings with this person trying to come back for you. Continue doing your shadow work. Always room for improvement, guys. See, this person's shattered watching you, watching you rise from the ashes. Like this person for sure thought you were gonna stay down and just broken and hurt and you you transformed yourself and now they're like, what the hell? You took all that grief and you turned it into something beautiful. You're beautiful. And now this person wants to try to come back and play that victim like they do well. You did a lot of reflection. You didn't blame anybody. You started going within and doing that inner work. And this this person doesn't like the way that you hold mirrors up. Like you make people see who they truly are and people don't like that. So this person's trying to Figure out how they even can be a choice in your life again. Because I feel like you've got better things coming in. Better choices to make. Like, there's something about this person trying to find the right approach to come toward you as well, man. Like, this person's, like, really been observing you. Like, Leo. Miss Winter. Stuck. Stagnant. Delays. Setbacks. Like, this person tried to put some some things in your path this is someone that knows that you're no longer stuck in life like you may have had some delays and setbacks but you didn't let it make or break you you kept pushing forward and being in that determined energy now this is somebody that's feeling like this other person's feeling stuck in their own life and this person if you take them back they will only limit you again tell me more worth the fight see this person now wants to come in here and fight for this it's all about conquering. Like, this person has to have control of everything. Like, now they want to try to fight for this? The victory is yours, man. Some of you guys could be going to, like, social events. You could run into this person at a party. You have this renewed enthusiasm. And this person doesn't like that you are able to regenerate yourself. Like, you have victory. Like, you're about to be celebrating yourself. And this person's trying to figure out how to reconcile with you. Key to closed doors, unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences. What was closed before is now going to be opening up for you. That's why we're going to keep this past person away from you because you've got new doors and new experiences here. You've got a twin flame connection. This person could be your twin flame. Some of you guys have not met your twin flame. And don't let titles keep you stuck. Some of you guys... The way that you are growing and evolving and doing this shadow work, it's about stepping into twin flame union and union and bleh, union and growing and evolving more through the twin flame connection here. So you know your story better than I do with these this twin flame connection. Follow the signs, signs and synchronicities. You are not alone. So you could be seeing repeated numbers. Um, you could be seeing animals. Just paying attention to the signs and the synchronicities that you're getting. You're not alone. Okay. Making sure that you're getting your messages that you're get, that are trying to make their way to you. Two possibilities at a crossroads, critical stage, exploring options. So it's like you got a choice to go down the old path again or go towards a new path. Like this past, past person's at a crossroads trying to figure out how to even get you to get them to be a choice of a path to go down. Like this past person knows you're done. Roll the dice, taking a chance, roll with it. A risky situation. That's what this past person's trying to do. They're trying to, to they're going to take a risk and try to just go for it. Gossip. So this person wanted to go around and gossip about you, like talking about you. This person wanted you to have a reputation. 
There's something about this person trying to, there's something about this past person's reputation that they don't like how the, the way that you've been healing and working on yourself is like making people like their true selves are showing. Let's just say this person's trying to get some kind of tea on you. Traveler or foreigner, beginning your journey. So some of you guys are just now beginning this journey. Some of you guys have more steps to go on this journey. Like, this past person feels foreign to you. Like, this, th you guys aren't on the same page anymore. It's like, it's, it's just, it's totally different. Like, you two want two different things. Like, you view, you think, you view things differently, the two of you do now. Like, it's very foreign. This person may have been in your life when you were at the beginning of your awakening and starting to see things in a different light. This person doesn't like that you've created this distance with them. Leo. Obsessive lover. This is someone that's got an unhealthy attachment to you. Tell me more. So this person thinks that sex fixes everything and you ain't going for this anymore. Like there's more to relationships than, than this stuff and you clearly want better. And this person's still sleeping with other people. Like this person thinks that sex fixes everything and this person's always got somebody in the background that they're secretly messing with, sleeping with. So this person could be trying to come back and reconcile with you in secret. Tell me more. Drama starter. This is someone that likes to create drama. This person, you could be getting a divorce from this person or have. This person could have some kind of like legalities. There's something about these scales balancing out and something about someone having legal issues. And this person's been creeping and spying and watching. Yeah, we know. We know. A person's ego is taking a hit. Like they don't know how to approach you. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody that acts like they got your best interest when they don't. This person acts like a little innocent lamb. Like they play the victim when they're really a wolf, man. This person feels threatened by your, your glow up, the work that you've done. This is someone that's used to being able to, to keep you bothered. This is someone that is intimidated by your intuition. And this is someone that knows that you're no longer threatened by them. Like this person doesn't have no... No influence in your life whatsoever. And that just makes this person feel small. But what the funny thing is, is that this person works so hard to try to make you look small, feel small. But they, they, they the ones that the little small, they small. See, they don't like to be rejected. This person has a very fragile ego, man. They don't like to be told no. And when you tell them no, then they go off and they talk crap about you. If they can't control you, they control how everybody else looks at you. So this person likes to run their mouth. They said, you ain't nothing. Then why are you trying to come back if we ain't nothing? In all reality, this is how you feel about this person. They, they ain't nothing to you. Like you... You've outgrown this person. Like, you don't look at them the, the same. They ain't nothing. It's done. It's over. Leo. You want a solid foundation. And that's what you've been working on. Security is important to you. Family is important to you. And this is what you're wanting, a solid, firm foundation. And this past person wasn't able to provide that to you. But they focused on your foundation, though. They know that you can provide something for them, though. Tell me more. This person's trying to figure out how to, to get that bonding energy back up and running between the two of you. I feel like this person's already, like, tried to pull you back in and trying to get you to open up. And I feel like for some of you, this person, when you guys first met, like they wanted to know everything about you. And then they used that against you later to try to try to uh, jab at your insecurities and things like that. So this person's trying to figure out how to bond again. The person doesn't like that you're able to push them away. Like this person was, like this person tried to, tried to, tried to, Avoid you, try to push you away, 
all it did was put you into this energy where you started going within and doing this inner work. So this other person I'm picking up on, they don't know how to do their, their healing. They don't know how to, to go within, like they escape, they they run from their problems. They go run and they play the, they play the victim to anybody that will listen to them. They want you to chase after them too. This person doesn't like that you're not trying to fix something with them anymore. Like this person didn't expect for you to change the dynamic up and start moving away. So some of you guys, this could be a twin flame connection for some of you. But this this chaser doesn't like that you're you're done. You've pushed them away. And somebody just wants to use titles to try to keep someone stuck. So just make sure you're using your discernment here. But this person doesn't. They don't like that you're now the one running away from them. This masculine energy does not, like this masculine energy is trying to figure out a way to come back. And a lot of you guys are in your masculine energy when it comes to this person because you have created boundaries and you're not letting this person uh, sidestep in your life anymore. Some of you guys have new masculine energies coming your way. Tell me more. A lot of you guys, part of your masculine energy is the shadow work. That's like lowering your ego and getting in there and asking your wounds some important questions. So heart fog, mixed signals, blocked emotions. Like this masculine has still got blocked emotions that's trying to come back in your life. Like this person was able to use these mixed signals and try to keep you stuck. But now you're releasing and now this person can't handle that. You're letting go and moving on, walking away. The person's got rejection issues. It was okay when they were rejecting you, but now that they're being rejected, they can't handle it. Some of you guys know this person from a past life. Past life lessons needed to be learned here. But this is about no longer repeating these patterns. Being done. Having the clarity. Seeing things for what it is. Knowing your truth and just moving away. That this was a very hollow, empty person. That's still feeling this way they still empty they still hollow a lot of you guys felt like you like you just didn't feel seen or heard when you were with this person so you've grown bored of this person like you guys aren't on the same page and this person is trying to figure out how to get the spark back up and running between the two of you but and they're trying to use that sexual energy to try to get you back like you've got better like you're going elsewhere with your your spark and your passion. Like you want better for yourself. But this person's really going to try you. So that's why you're really being card called to ground yourself here, guys. Leo. Leo. You are safe. You are, you are protected. The worst is behind you and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you. Lessons have been learned. It is safe for you to trust your path. Of course you will make mistakes, but the biggest one would not... Would not to try. Would let me try that again. Of course, you will make mistakes, but the biggest one would not to be tried. Not to try. That don't sound right. You have nothing to lose. This thing you have been thinking about for a long time, just go for it. Better than a oops than than what if. So this is about going after what you want for yourself. It's better to look back and see that you went for it than having those what ifs. And it's almost like this person's thinking that too. Like they're just going to try to go for it. Like. If it doesn't work out, they're like, at least I tried. Things are going to be turned in your favor. People that were against you all of a sudden will be be for you. Ideals, creativity, promotion, contracts are going to come into your hands. Yeah, like this person worked so hard to try to turn everybody against you and it's all going to flip around. Like people are starting to see this person for who they are. Choice is the most powerful tool you have. Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several doors, bringing new experiences in your life. At any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. So, absolutely. That's because this person wants to try to hash something out with you. Doesn't mean that you have to take them back. That That's where that free will comes into play. It's your choice. It's your life. You don't have to do do that just because they want you to. So... But just know that this person is trying to figure out the right way to approach you. But you're making it hard for them. So, All right, my beautiful Leo. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. I'll see you guys later.